Welcome back everybody to my office. I suspect that many of you are picking up this message of mine by your iPhone, your Blackberry, iPad, laptop, or some other mobile device that I haven't even thought of. Because I'm sure you, like many people, have vacated our beautiful city for warmer climes as winter break is in full bloom. And so here's a little idea I wanted to share with you, and it's a study in distinctions. So here goes. The secular new year, that we're soon to celebrate, is filled with revelry. There's music, and there's booze, and there's partying, and there's bowls that drop in Times Square. It's actually a season for people to pretty much do whatever they want. There's a sense of permissiveness, so much so that people can wake up the next morning and say to themselves, I can't believe what I did last night, but it's New Year's. It's okay. The distinction, of course, is what we do in Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Rosh Hashanah is undeniably a very, very happy time. We have wonderful celebratory meals surrounded by family and friends, but there's also a sobriety to it. There's a sober note to it because we spend a lot of time in synagogue and we are reminded of this fundamental truth, and that is that life in and of itself, life in and of itself, if it is to have any meaning, it must be a source of pursuing meaning. What I'm trying to say is this, is that merely being alive is not the point of living. It's finding a life. The great psychoanalyst and Holocaust survivor, Viktor Frankl, at the age of 92, was asked by a student the following question. They asked Dr. Frankl, what's the secret of a happy life? And Dr. Frankl told him this. He said, you can't find happiness in life. It's not some pursuit or goal that has a destination to it. The way that you find happiness in life is precisely by not thinking about happiness. 